Hey everybody. Today is July 2nd, 2014, and in this video I'm going to be talking about Bolt from the Blue Lightning Strikes. On June 21st, 2014, we had a thunderstorm pass through the area, pass us to our north, and the whole time the sun was out, birds singing, you know, like it is right now. Here, Per Martin's in the background. Martin's flying around and I just happened to have my camera set up here in the front yard in the weather case because obviously there's a thunderstorm coming and you know I like to capture that kind of stuff so luckily I had a camera out you know out in the yard so basically I walked outside to get the mail before a storm got here and so basically, I'm just going to you know, go through exactly what happened. So walking down the driveway, camera's right about there, and out of nowhere, basically the storm was right there. The amble of the cloud was right over in this area. It's out of nowhere, lightning strikes, and I saw it too. Now the side of the cloud struck over there in that area, about two miles away or so, two or three miles away. So. I went up to my camera immediately, stopped recording, and started recording to start a new video. So that way I could easily find these weird lightning strikes. And basically, I was about, I want to say, right about here down the driveway. I could hear myself walking by in the, in the video that I shot. Lightning struck right over there, outside the thunderstorm. <laughs> kind of crazy. So basically, kept walking out here to the mailbox to get the mail, of course. And by the time I was about here and walking back, another lightning strike outside the thunderstorm struck, I want to say, right in that area. Now, the difference between these kinds of strikes and your typical strikes that are under the storm cloud is the charge. The, one that, the ones that you see under the cloud are negative charge strikes. But the ones up in the cloud are positive and sometimes they get enough energy to actually, you know, come out of the cloud and strike the ground. And these kinds of strikes have a lot more potential to them and are more dangerous because of that and let alone the fact you're striking outside a thunderstorm. And another thing that you might you'll notice shortly in the video that you'll see is the thunder from these kinds of strikes has a different tone to it has a deeper tone to it because of the fact that these strikes are a lot stronger and the reason why I'm doing this intro clip is to share your to share with you guys what I noticed because the camera didn't capture every bit of it but basically um, the reason why I'm doing this video is to raise awareness of the danger of lightning I mean, you can. You don't have. You don't have to actually have a thunderstorm in progress over your area to have a lightning hazard. So basically, what you're going to see after this clip of video, you're going to see the video footage I shot out here with the camera in the weather case. After that, you're going to see an overview video that I shot inside the house. Guys, we were having a thunderstorm that has multiple bolt from the blue strikes, external lightning strikes going inside. Hey 
Hey everybody. Today is June 21st, 2014, and today we're having a rare kind of thunderstorm. It's putting out multiple what you would call lightning bolts from the blue. I'm not even going to go outside right now because, I mean, look, sun's out. You're thinking, oh, it's just a sunny day, there's a thunderstorm nearby, you might be hearing some thunder, but, um, this storm has been putting out multiple lightning strikes outside the storm cloud itself. Typically, most of your lightning is, um, comes from the bottom of the cloud, but in this case, a lot of the lightning is shooting out from the side of the cloud over to the ground. And these kinds of lightning strikes are very hazardous, not only because they're occurring outside the storm, but they have a positive charge, whereas usually the ones under the cloud, I believe, have a negative charge. The ones with the positive charge are much more violent. And I don't know if you noticed, but the thunder from these kinds of strikes is a lot louder due to that reason. So yes, I am staying inside for the time being. I just happen to be outside quick enough to turn my camera in the weather case to face the storm to hopefully capture some lightning. Yes, guys, it was, I mean, it's, it's sunny outside, and, um, of course, there sets the camera out there in the yard. It's, it is staked down. Luckily, I had it out there. Just have a listen to this, guys. Listen to this thunder. <clears throat> open this window here see if we can see if we can see a lightning strike they're hard to see when the sun's out but it's that cloud right there that's doing it storm is actually to our northwest and it's putting out lightning in this area I tell you guys, it's been three years since I've seen a storm like this. Again, if I didn't mention it earlier, I'm treating it as if there is a storm, active storm outside right now. Let's update this and show you the cell that's doing it. It's this thunderstorm right here. We're located right about there. And it's that big cell right there. See what direction it's moving. Yes, they're moving to the. They're moving southeast. So we're about to get a hit from it. Okay, now that you got to see that footage along with the overview footage that I shot, I don't want to end this video just yet. I want to share with you guys something else that happened. Now, this is actually a storm that came in the, that passed the area. In 2011, it was a previous storm that I had seen that had uh, external lightning strikes like that. And while the footage you saw of this storm, the lightning strikes were pretty far away. I mean, a few miles away, not very close strikes. This one, however, had two very close strikes. And again, the sun was out, non drop of rain had fallen. Now in this case, a thunderstorm had formed to our east, about five miles east of us. And it was stationary. It wasn't really moving anywhere. It just popped up out of nowhere and was strengthening pretty fast. I'd say about five to ten minutes prior to this happening, I had put my camera in its weather case right about, I want to say here. It was looking to our east. And I was inside the house at the time this happened. I was in the kitchen all of a sudden, you know, sun's out, saw a big flash, immediately heard thunder afterwards. And it just comes to show you that even when you're not actually under the storm itself, if you hear thunder, you can be struck by lightning. I mean, according to um, what I've read online, these kinds of strikes can strike up to 10 miles outside the thunderstorm. As I mentioned, the storm formed five miles east of us, so we were in that um, in that danger radius, so to speak, where lightning could strike outside a storm. 
So anyways, here's that footage.